Just kind of, ow, that hurt. Okay, anyway, as you can see, I'm going to get out of that. Anywho, so I'm going to talk about My Little Pony. Sit back down. I'm going to tell you why the series is good, I'm going to tell you why we like the characters, and I'm going to tell you why the fan base is a hell of a lot of fun. I've been a part of it for oh, about two, three months, so yeah, I know quite a bit about it. I've been very active. But first things first, the series quality. Now, most of you, when you think of television, or specifically animation for, girl, for girls, you probably think at yeah, crappy writing, just basically crappy shows in general. This is the exception to the rule. The writing is absolutely fantastic. I would watch every episode over and over again, and I have. I've seen, every, seen each of them at least two, three times. Mostly because of the humor. There's a lot of sight gags, references to things that little girls, quite frankly, would not be aware of, such as, let's see, X-Men, Benny Hill, Brady Bunch, Looney Tunes, well, Looney Tunes, they might be aware of, like old style Looney Tunes, and Bill Drops for the Wind. Uh, then, there's what sets this apart from most every other animated show out there today. The animation. You see in the upper clip, can you see any fireflies in that lamp? In the bottom clip, they are clearly present. This is a 1080p copy. You cannot see those fireflies in any copies with lower resolution than this. They're, they fade into the background too easily. The animators put way more effort into every episode of this series than into entire series of other shows combined. And it really shows. And then coming after that, there is the character development. All the characters are likable. Almost all of them. Gil was kind of an exception. They're all three-dimensional. For instance, take Rarity. She's sort of the fashionista of the group. In most shows, she would be more along the lines of a sort of a snobby, perhaps a little bit bitchy, shopaholic-ish. But no, they decided to make her a kind, generous fashion designer. And she pulls it off very, very well. Uh, and we have Twilight. She is mm, pretty much the nerd bookworm of the group. Also sort of an audience proxy slash straight man. Also, her name is Twilight Sparkle, and yes, that is a Twilight joke. We're quite sure of it. Her original name was Twilight Twinkle, but they intentionally changed it. Uh, then we have Rainbow Dash, brash, impulsive, very athletic, and she can fly. She, there have been rumors of running about of regarding her sexual orientation as to whether or not she's a lesbian. The creator of the show has repeatedly squelched those rumors, but they persist. Then we have Applejack. She works on her family apple farm. The apple family farm. Farming apples, of course. And we have Fluttershy, who you saw in the opening bit, if you were able to pay attention to anything over the incredibly loud sound. She's, effective, she's effectively the uh, sort of the moe of the group, very shy, very quiet, until you back her into a corner, at which point she becomes Mom Fluttershy, what the fandom has affectionately dubbed Mom Fluttershy, and she will scold whatever is threatening her into submission quickly. It's very entertaining. Last but not least, Pinkie Pie. Oh boy, how do we describe Pinkie Pie? I suppose the closest approximation would be something along the lines of a living embodiment of ADHD and a walking Looney Tunes reference. 
i.e. she has more energy than the sun. She, she repeatedly breaks the fourth wall. She constantly ignores, outright ignores the laws of physics. She's, numerous times she's seen hanging upside down from the top of the screen when there's nothing in the actual world that she would be hanging upside down from. Uh, she follows cartoon logic basically as a rule. She once appears in a mirror without appearing in the actual, in the room the mirror is in. She also is the source of many, 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 many animated GIFs of this series, and she is probably the one of the biggest reasons to watch. Well, unfortunately, I have no segue from that into my next topic, but YouTube states that this series is most popular with Males age 18 to 44, and females age 13 to 17. Not exactly its target group, but it's a big group. Unfortunately, being the internet, this, in, this does invite 4chan, which invites Rule 34. If you don't know what that is, good. If you do know what that is, I'm very sorry. Fortunately, aside from 4chan, there is also the bright side of the fandom, otherwise known as the AllSpark. Or even just like, but, yeah. There was supposed to be an animated bit there, but it didn't, it apparently is gone. Uh, there are also forums like the AllSpark forum, which is a transform, which is a transformers forum, but has three very, very, very active My Little Pony threads in it. I have been posting there for about two, three months now. People are nice. They have a very significant Bulgari filter, and it's basically just a very nice and innocent place to discuss a very nice and innocent show with lots of humor. In conclusion, to quote Lauren Faust, the creator of the show, in response to a comment someone left on her DeviantArt page regarding why she was, or regarding how she felt about the fact that the show that she created for little girls was now being obsessed over by sexually repressed man children, his words, not mine. I didn't create this show for little girls. I created it for little girls and their parents, including male parents. It only stands to reason that adult animation fans without children may like it too. The belief that boys shouldn't be interested in girl things is the main reason there's hardly anything decent for girls in animation, or in any media in general. It's a backward, sexist, outdated attitude. Paraphrase. This is a show for anyone who likes good animation, good writing, good characters, or just good shows in general. If you're such a person, perhaps you should be watching. Questions? What's 4chan? Ah, 4chan is an internet message board that's very, 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 very chaotic, and most of the posters are anonymous, which means there's a lot of trolling and a lot of very disturbing content, even for a show like this. Which one's your favorite of the characters? Pinky, definitely Pinkie Pie. Why? Oh, that's difficult to explain. The most succinct, the most succinct reason would be because she's Pinkie Pie. <laughs> You'll get to see more of her in the episode. We'll see that. So, uh, is your idea that uh, if we encourage gender neutrality and move beyond male-female gender lines, that will produce more good content and good things in the world, like uh, the show? Well, not necessarily gender neutrality as a whole, but really just if we move past the idea that everything that's made for girls is inherently either stupid or just poor quality, because this show is just an absolute counter-argument to that. 
Ted had it first, so. Yeah. How do ponies get their wings? And why don't all of them have wings? <laughs> well, Honestly, I want to know. Well, what? there's there's three different types of ponies. Well, for one thing, they're born with the wings. Oh, okay. There are um, Pegasus ponies, which are born with wings, unicorns, which are born with a horn and can do magic, and earth ponies, which can't. Just horses. Basically. Yeah, coincidentally, in the uh, series, the, the three, the six characters are actually uh, first. The first two are unicorns, the second one is a pegasus, the next one is an earth pony, the third is a pegasus, and the fourth is an earth pony. So they actually have two of each kind. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, do you consider breaking the fourth wall to be a good comedy element, or just have annoying? Well, it kind of varies with Pinkie Pie. Sometimes it's absolutely hilarious. Other times, it's downright disturbing. Particularly at the end of one episode, they're all sitting in a hot tub, relaxing, and everybody's laughing, except Pinky, who is looking at the screen, just like, it's really disturbing. Okay. Anyone else? What channel is it on? <laughs> That's one of the major issues with the show, actually. It's on The Hub, which is a channel that Hasbro recently purchased and filled with all of their own shows. Unfortunately, it's on really expensive super cable. So basically, no one actually has this show on TV, so everyone just watches it on YouTube. What about, like, satellite? Like, Dish or DirecTV, do they get it? Probably, I don't know. Search for it. Yeah, I'm, act I'm actually fairly certain that Hasbro doesn't really care if people watch, if people download it and watch it on YouTube, because there have been people posting it basically throughout the entire course of the season, and only one of them has ever gotten caught, and that was by a spam bot. Well, aren't all Hasbro shows really just a half hour long toy commercials? That would be my main <laughs> argument as to why they don't care that people are downloading it. Except that they also don't care about the toys. Uh, Has, Hasbro's really been slacking on making the show accurate toys. They still have yet to come up with a decent Fluttershy. And that bums you out? That bums out most of the fandom. Okay. Do you have the ponies? No. Yeah, the, the only decent ones were available from McDonald's, ironically enough. And That's that right, was... I got mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately they were sold out before I actually got interested in the show. That sucks. Do you have yeah, the like the trade? Thanks. Uh.